Hey guys, Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the video. Today we are headed out with both the TRX4 High Trail and my Axial Rift. Now this will probably be broken up into a few videos. So I'll probably have footage of both vehicles in this video today, but then there'll be a full video with the Rift and a full video of the TRX4. Now I'm going out to my buddy's place where if you'd watched some of the SCX6 videos, you'll know that's a heavy kind of rock crawling sort of course. And let's face it, the high trail is not the greatest truck for that. And I don't want to destroy it. I've said this from the beginning. I'm pretty sure, guys, I've said it multiple times. I don't want to destroy this truck. I'm going to drive it. I'm going to have fun with it. But I don't want it to be something that just looks beat up after the first run. So I will take it kind of easy on it and, and probably pay more attention to what I'm doing, not just rip it up and hope that all, you know, goes well. Also, guys, a quick little update on the channel. The Ultimate Haas is back. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen it. I did kind of a big trade this week. The SCX6 is no more. It's gone. And it, it's kind of, guys, a weird story. There's nothing against that truck at all. It actually, guys, is probably one of the best RTRs you can buy. It comes loaded. RTR-wise, it comes loaded. Lights, everything, that censored system. But after I built my Rift... I I just knew that if I was going to go out, if I was going to go out with my kids and stuff like that, that I wanted our scales to be close, you know, basically have them either be one tenth, maybe one eighth, but I didn't want one ginormous truck and one small one. And yeah, so that is why when a buddy of mine started talking to me and kind of offered me up a deal and we spent a little bit of time talking, I was kind of, I was kind of happy guys with the trade. It turned out to be pretty now, good. Before we get out today, I just wanted to show you guys, I got a couple of new packs from Gen Z. So these are their... Adventure Series 3S. Now they are a high voltage pack. So the one thing you got to know, this ESC guys right out of the box is not a high voltage ESC, meaning it's not going to go above 4.2 volts per cell. So when you are charging up these batteries, just make sure you charge them at 4.2 volts per cell and you'll be good to go. Now, what I wanted to show you guys, because I think this is pretty cool. I have plans to change both the motor and ESC in this truck. And basically what I'm going to be doing is the 1800 KV in the Rift is still too high. I'm going to change that to either a 12 or Tekken offers a 500 KV, which just seems ludicrous, but I may try that too. So what's going to happen is at some point, and this is going to lead into even more updating, at some point, the 1800 is going to come out of here and it's going to come into this truck. I'll drop a Castle Moment X in here and we'll be good to go. So I didn't want to change the connector to a XT60 because Traxxas people kind of like their Traxxas connectors. And as soon as you do that, you're basically dealing with either having to solder the Traxxas connector back on, all that kind of stuff. So I didn't want to do that. And what's really neat is Gen Z sent me this. Now I know we've seen little connectors before. We've seen, you know, XT60 to Traxxas, all that kind of stuff. But I thought what was really neat about this connector is it actually is really clean looking. It's one piece. It's not just, you know, a bunch of wires kind of soldered together. It looks really slick. And when you have it on the truck, it doesn't actually look that much out of place. So I was actually, guys, I, I just, I wanted to quickly, guys, show you this. I'm not sure if it's on their website yet, but once it is, I'll update the description and you'll be able to see this in here. But again, I just thought this was really cool because it's very clean looking. It doesn't look all big and bulky or anything like that on there. And it allows me to use my XT60 connectors, which is going to be what I use now on my 1 10th scale trucks. Either way, guys, we are going to finish charging up the batteries. I've got one over here charging. That's the one for the Rift. And then we're going to head out. It's still first thing in the morning. Uh, I'm still drinking my coffee, as you guys can see right there. So... That doesn't really mean anything to you guys, though. <laughs> we are just going to get ready. And for you guys, hey, we're heading out to the trail right now. Like here or North Bay? Oh.
stuck. All right, guys, we're home. We've got the trucks back on the bench. They're all cleaned up and that was a lot of fun. I got a lot of footage. So yes, there's going to be three videos, guys, all together. The one you just watched and then I'll have one specifically on the Riff and one just on the TRX4. Now, overall, I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to get into more details in the next videos. But on this one, here's how it goes. Rift, if I was to stay where I was today in the sense that I was really sticking with only rock crawling doing what I was doing over there. Yes, it still needs to be slowed down. And the other thing for some reason, and I don't know how I forgot to do this, my drag brake is not at 100% yet. So anybody that's watched the videos on this thing, you know that I've got one of my channels on my uh, rugged is set to turning on and off my drag brake. And for some reason, even when it's on, I don't have it set to 100%. So that I found today, the two biggest things, issues with this today was one, it was too fast and that guys is apparent you can see it the other thing guys is not having that full hundred percent drag break and i also need to go and i need to figure it out too i need to be more in like a crawl mode i find now i'm more into the having forward and then wanting to go right into reverse versus having a break because there's a few times with both trucks actually today that that happened where i was kind of like going like this and it just kept hitting the brake and not giving me reverse so yeah that was kind of a bummer but overall guys uh this thing is is taking it like a champ i'm super impressed with it i'm super Im impressed with just the way it handled the way it bashed around a few times when i couldn't you know crawl over something i just kind of back up and power through and it just got going and it took it having the long long wheelbase you know, obviously, guys, it's a lot longer than something like the TRX4 or anything else. Yeah, there's a few times I got hung up and stuff like that. But you know what, man? Super enjoying it with this thing. I absolutely love it. It looks super cool out on the trails or out on that course. And I think I could mention this, guys, in the next in another video. But I may change these panels to a different color. Something a lot more bright. Maybe something, honestly, like this blue. I think it would look really, really good. Stand out. The orange would look awesome. All that kind of fun stuff. As for... The TRX4 today. Uh, again, I'm going to go into a lot more details in the next video, but it was still, guys, a lot of fun. And yes, obviously having that high center of gravity, it, hey, I rolled it within the first, whatever, five, six, seven seconds of driving it, but it was still a lot more fun. And you will see in the other videos where with both trucks, I did get better control. I did get, as the video got on and as I got more of a control of the vehicle and, and knowing what it was going to do, I got a lot better. Today, I probably should have started off with this and then went to this because obviously this thing, you know, stuck to the ground a lot more than this thing did. So now I will get into this more, guys, when I'm, I'm kind of reviewing each truck or when you, you see the video of each truck. But overall, guys, with the TRX4, I was pretty impressed. The ESC surprisingly did okay. The drag brake is horrible, but the low, your low speed crawl 
is pretty good. I, there was a few times where I was really trying to do something and I was being really, really careful with the throttle and it actually did a pretty good job. I was overall, guys, pretty impressed with that. Adding a little bit of weight uh, down low, maybe a brass pumpkin cover, stuff like that would definitely help this truck. But overall, guys, I was really, really impressed with it. Yeah, I've got some dents and some scratches and I was kind of really hoping to keep this thing looking awesome for a while, but oh well, that happens. Uh, as for the batteries, guys, you saw them at the beginning of the video. Gen's Ace Adventure Series. These are 3S 4300s. This one is the G-Tech. This is one of the older ones. Uh, I need these type of packs. I like these smaller packs because in my Rift, if you've seen any videos, you know that I kind of cut out part of the battery tray to allow my suspension to come up more. So I definitely need a small battery like this to sit in the back. And when it comes to the TRX4, again, you've got that little kind of boot in the front. And I like just having that sit there. It, it does add a little bit of weight to the truck. Um, again, more details, guys, in the full video. So I'm obviously going to have a full video, like I mentioned, of the Rift, a full video of the High Trail, and I will go into more details, kind of, you know, explain how everything went and get into more details. But one thing I just wanted to guys quickly show you is I did get one of these bad boys in, and it's a 2000 milliamp 120C 4S pack. I can run 4S with the 1800, and... If I haven't already mentioned, I am considering changing the motors in the Rift. So having these little packs are going to be really, really awesome. So I'm kind of excited to try those out. But you know what, guys? I, uh, I think I've rambled on long enough. That was a lot of fun. The next time you see the Ranger will either be the full video or I will start doing some of the upgrades, getting the lights and the bumper and the winch and all that kind of fun stuff in it. So, But either way, guys, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. Please subscribe. Have a great day.